Hey YouTube, Mike with Thousand Reptiles. Uh, I know it's been a while since I've done a video. Halloween, uh, about to throw some males in with girls. I figured I'd do a little video, a little update, what's going on. So first thing I want to show is this big open space. So this big open space here, it's a good amount, thing. This is going to be my new big boa rack, the blood python and boa rack. So it's going to be seven tubs, they're big tubs. Um, right now I'm going to move almost immediately Hopefully it's clean. This big girl, she'll be moving in there. She's my cow albino girl, which hopefully uh, I'll have go this year. I'll show you the boy later. And then this big blood, she's, oh, she's a little stuck shed, but big normal blood female. Now, I will probably also move over very shortly. This boy, when he's hungry, only reason he's a hook. When he's hungry, he shoots out. But there he is. No food. So my Walmart Python, he'll probably move into the new rack, even though he's still perfectly fine in this tub. But I'll move him over into the new new rack. And then this girl here will also get moved into the new rack, even though she's, again, she's perfectly fine in this tub. Uh, this is my leopard boa. She's awesome. I don't know what a leopard boa is. Check out that stomach too. It's an awesome snake. Alright, so she'll get moved over also into the big boa rack, even though she's perfectly fine in here. But by moving these four snakes over, it opens up um, four B70s, so I can start to move some of my other younger females that are starting to get a little bit bigger. So, other just quick updates. Um, I've had this guy for a little while, but I haven't shown him off. I picked this up in a trade. It's a little lesser B. I know he's a little tight in there, but uh, like I said, I'm trying to open up space. Dan, walk right through our front yard. Um, so I picked up that little lesser bee, female. Um, I don't know if I've ever shown these off too much. I know I showed them off when I first got them, but I'll show them off again because they're doing great. My dream bee, that's the female. And then the male, he just shed today. So he should be looking nice. Oh, he pooped in his water. Don't look at the water. Sorry. Try not to get bit by him. <laughs> He's nifty. But there he is. Look at that. Oh, the oranges on these dream bees are awesome. Again, Lenny, thank you. Give him some fresh water. All right. Um, all right, so some of the breeding that I have going on. Take a look, babe, at the wall. So I've had a bunch of females that have already had at least one or more locks going on. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to move some of these boys and show you some of the girls are going with. So this here, actually, let me just put this back up. This boy here is my GHI chocolate 100% het albino male. All right, he um, is going to be going to this big female this year. This is my special female. Sorry, I'm not my special, my ghost female. So he has not locked with her yet, but that's, he's one of the girls I want him to go with. He has locked up with my spot nose, 100% head albino, my pastel lesson, female let me just look at her she I produced myself actually one of my first animals that I produced that uh, will be breeding for me this year this big girl here my um, Mojave 100% head hypo girl that one's gonna be awesome Uh, who else has he gone with? He's locked up with those three girls already. He's not locked up with the ghost yet, but the ghost I hope he will lock up with soon. He's also going to go to later in the season. Um, these two girls. So they're both... This girl actually laid a clutch and she's not back up to weight yet. She's about 1,400 grams. That's just the head albino. And again, my GHI chocolate is 100% head albino. That's a Henderson head albino. She's about 1,400 grams. And then this girl here, the GHI boy will probably go to also. And that's just a, just a nice enchy female. 
she's about 1350 so my smaller females I'm not gonna start them till later in the season like December January my larger females I started in October um, and I'm hoping that the larger girls will lay eggs earlier and I can kind of space out my eggs for the incubator uh, the next male he's in shed so I'm not actually gonna put him in with the girls right now I find they don't do very good work for me in shed but I'll show them off real quick this is my spark B and he is go he's already locked up with this big girl a few times this is a um, pastel possible pastel yellow belly hoping it's a pastel yellow belly locked up with her a couple times um, this big girl here where is she at Oop, right here but uh, she's just the yellow belly female who's locked up with her um, this girl is one he will be locked he will be paired with they have not locked up yet though this is my specter um, and then this girl he's also going to be paired up she's the smallest of all the girls he's going to be with she's in shed right now that's the pastel lesser yellow belly fortunately she's in shed but um, she's about just 1450 so I haven't even tried starting him with her yet he should be later in the year um, my next male my banana male actually you know let's do the special so this boy here my special he's um 100% het ghost proved that out this year the main girl he's going with is this massive female she's one of my biggest girls my special female so as far as I know she's just just special but the male was actually sold to me as just a special also and he ended up being 100% head ghost so we're going for super specials here that are pop head ghost and then I'm also going to put him to this girl my champagne girl who's not back up to size yet she's um she gave me a clutch last year last season as well she's about 1300 1350 right now so she's not back up so she'll be a late season girl as well um <clears throat> let's see who else um well this boy here i'm hoping to hit on something with this guy he's also going to the shed so i'm not going to put him in any girls He's a, um, a pastel lesser, 100% het clown. And so far, he's only locked up with oops, one of my het clown girls. But this girl here, she's a 100% het clown. He's locked up with her a couple times already. And then I put him with this girl. And this is, this girl's just hidden 1500. But they have not locked it all yet. That's another 100% head clown. Actually, no, sorry. This girl here is a possible head clown. She's actually the daughter of the 100% head clown. Um, and then this girl has three sisters that are all at about 1,000 grams. So we'll see if they get up to size. But what I'm going for, if you want to scooch up here, lesser clowns or pastel lesser clowns. That's obviously my, my ultimate goal, or pastel clowns or clowns in general. But uh, I'm going to put him to... At least the two uh, Het Clown girls, maybe if the sisters get up the size to them as well. Um, we'll find out, I guess, as time goes on, if they get up the size. Who else? Um, this boy here is also in the shed. You can see all my boys are in the shed. It's funny how that works out. This is the boy who I proved out to be, and you can see actually this is a great example. See how pink and orange he is? Whenever he goes in the shed, he turns this pink orange. But this is my black pastel ivory. And he has been already locked up with this girl who is just a bit, oh, no, that's the blood pipe, I'm sorry. This girl who is just a big normal. Um, so I've locked, he's locked up with her already this season. And then he's locked up with this girl this season. This is just a pastel girl. Give me a little belly up. <laughs> Um, and then he's also locked up with, or no, I put him with this girl, but he hasn't locked up with This is just another normal girl, so, um, well, we'll see. The two girls that are normal, they both have little things I, I liked about them, flaming, this, that. So I am hoping, 
that uh, I can prove one of them to be more than just a normal, but we'll see in time. If not, I can at least hit on some more of those really nice black pastel yellow bellies that I hit on this past season. Um, now, I've also been using my banana mail for the same reason. The same basic reason is I've been using this boy. He goes, here's my banana mail who ended up this past season being a female maker, I guess. He produced two clutches that he sired. And in those two clutches, there was three banana combos, um, or bananas, and there was two females and one male. So I've been putting him to a lot of these same girls. Um, he's been going to the pastel, pasta caramel girl, the normal girl down there. Um, anyone else I put him to? Oh, and this girl, my spider girl. This girl here. That's the spider. Um, who I actually I think I'm going to put him with today. It's been a little while since he's been in here. Now, I will, uh, when I put males in with females, I give them two days, and if nothing happens in two days, I move them to the next girl. And again, two days, and if nothing happens, at the end of that week, I move them, I put them back in their own enclosures, the day, uh, Wednesday night, basically, and then I'll feed on Thursdays, and then I wait till either Friday night or Saturday to put males back in again. So I always give them days off. Now, if he locks up, they get the whole rest of the week off until the next week. So that's kind of how I work with the males. And uh, speaking of males, here is another one that I wanted to show. This boy here is my pastel calico, lemon pastel calico from Nerd. Um, he bred two of my females last year, the same two I'm putting them to this year, but neither of them went, so I'm hoping one of them will go. One of the females he's been breeding is that spider girl. The other is this big fire girl. Oh, he's in a water bowl. So I'm going to put him in with her. I'm going to watch the water in there. Alright. Um, let's see, any other males? This boy here, we'll try him again. He's, he's more than big enough. Uh, he's my gargoyle male. But he will not, he hasn't even tried to lock up with the girl that I'm putting him with. Um, so, he I've been putting with my black pastel spider. So, where's she at? I'll bring it down. Come on, buddy. So, that's the black pastel spider. And I've been putting them together, but he has not done anything yet. Can you grab the card? So this is um, basically how a typical Friday night or Saturday night goes when I'm starting my pairings. Again, everything goes gets marked up on the wall when it's all done. Um, I have no other males that are ready to go tonight, but what I do have, oops, I put the uh, wrong card. Here. Here. Alright, so the last thing that I want to show up very quickly because uh, my baby daughter just woke up right here in the other room is this guy. Now, I've had him for a little while. Um, I don't want to bother him too much because he's eating good for me finally. But, if you don't know what this is, this is an albino leopard. This is an albino leopard male who I hope I can get up the size this year to breed my big albino female. And then I can hit on, um, hopefully, some albino 100% het leopards. And then next year I'll put them to my leopard female and hit on leopard 100% het albinos. And then down the road I'll start to produce some of my own albino leopards. Now, I would like to get uh, motley, jungle, and eventually blood into these bloodlines. I don't know if you can see his tail here. The oranges down the side. So I haven't really shown this guy off yet, 
If you uh, follow Tom Burt on Facebook, he makes some amazing boas. That's who I got this boy from. See me? And uh, just wanted to show him off a little. All right. So there is another nice new addition. And um, I guess we'll call that call that that. So how's the reptiles out?